welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be clearing the top layer of leaves that insulate the garden over winter, but now are preventing them from getting full sun. Just in this little area we've already done, you can see chives sprouting at the back and green strawberry leaves all throughout the bed. There are also wild violets in here too. I also have lavender growing in this bed, which we probably won't see sprout for another couple of weeks. Strawberries especially are fairly delicate as they only grow on the surface of the soil. So you may want to remove these just by hand. We can, however, speed things up if we have the right tools. This metal rake has really long and flexible tines. So this will go right over the strawberries and clear some leaves a lot quicker. We've actually pulled up one of our strawberries already, but this was probably not rooted very well. In fact, I can see little bits of new root growth here that we can just help along and bury. This one looks like it's been uprooted since last year, but it has green growth. Just goes to show you how tough these are. But here you can see the crown of the plant. You don't want to bury this part. We're only burying it right up to those roots. So it's gonna sit just like that in the soil. It's actually got a decent set of roots. So I'm gonna dig a little trench like this. We'll lay down our roots, make sure that the crown is sticking out, and then just surround those roots with soil. So there you can see our crown can breathe. It's got plenty of sun. And hopefully, this will rebound pretty quickly. I am noticing some wilting here, but that's because those roots have been exposed all winter. At this point, we could haul these leaves away and compost them. Or if they're dry, we can shred them and mulch. This will insulate them without really covering them up. So they still get plenty of sun, but just in case we get a late frost, they should be safe. Even if you don't need to insulate these from cold temperatures, you can still benefit from mulching with dried leaves. Strawberries are famously grown in a really thick layer of straw. That insulates the plants in colder temps, but it also keeps the fruit off of the ground. So they're not gonna be covered in bugs, and when you go to harvest, they won't be covered in sand either. This also keeps the soil nice and moist underneath so that any new runners that sprout can root really quickly. They can even protect against erosion if you have bare soil. This only works if your leaves are dry. So I'm doing this really early in the season before we get a lot of rain. This is what happens to last year's growth on our chives. It becomes a really thick mat. So we want to take those away. A few of last year's plants were so thick, I do have to clear it by hand. The rake just wouldn't cut it. These are really healthy plants. Wow, look at these ones in the vegetable garden. They're already three or four inches tall. It really doesn't get any better than fresh spring chives. These are so tender and so mild. Mm. And they grow back so quickly this time of year, you can harvest as many as you like. Look at all that old growth. This actually makes great mulch, and it's pretty much just like straw. So I never realized it, but it's actually good to grow chives right next to your strawberries. That's kind of fun. 
And isn't that great? It looks like we mulched with real straw. And by the end, it doesn't really look drastically different. But that little bit of sunlight makes a huge difference for your plants. So I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.